The new Stan is the interface between the air and the sea. And there's a, an entire ecosystem of organisms that live on that interface or right near that interface. And uh, so we try to capture that with that net. Traditionally, SE has been using the new Stan net to look at zooplankton abundances of populations out here in the ocean. Now we're using it to look at plastic abundances. The fact that in some of these toes we're finding higher abundances of plastic than zooplankton is pretty astonishing. Hey, come to me and said, Amelia, Amelia, I think you're going to want to get up. You have no idea how much plastic is outside. And I came up to the quarter deck, and sure enough, I looked out, and there were little tiny mini pieces of plastic everywhere, uh, to the point where there were thousands, probably millions of pieces just floating around. What was interesting about it was that they were all sort of lined up what looked like to be almost a river through the ocean of little mini shards of plastic. And as you looked around, there were also larger pieces of plastic, uh, but the majority of the plastic that you were looking at were these little tiny pieces. 17,649 of those pieces were counted by hand by variety of people. That was just, an, uh, that was just a dip, just a quick one dip. dip. Stuck her hands in, took them back That's out. Really well, mostly, there's some life in here as yeah. well. This is mostly plastic. You can see the, all the I colors, the bright little colors. If each American throws away, without even thinking about it, a half a pound of plastic a day, we picked up five times that in These less really than a nautical mile. Like this, um, that plastic is shipped in before it becomes uh, molded into plastic like this. It can have different colors and properties depending on what it's intended to be used for. This is a pile of 50 plastics. That's 10 right there, and that's five right there. Well, I'll do a little victory here. Round it up to seven squares, and we're counting seven random squares, and then we're gonna average it all together and just extrapolate from there. 37 yeah. hours <coughs> of counting this. 107 pieces in each of those squares that we counted. Um, so 68 times 107 is 7,276 on top of the 16,902 that we counted. The total is 24,178 plus Greg's 35 pieces is 24,213 pieces of plastic from this one new stomp toe. Wow. And okay. we've been at sea for what, two weeks? Yeah, two weeks, mm -hmm. and it was just over a nautical mile that this toe was towing. So this is the wind row toe, <laughs> and this just so happens to trump the highest concentration of plastics that was counted in the eight. Uh, Atlantic Ocean in 2010. Wow. This is important because it tells us that we have that much more research to do to understand what are the plastic concentrations in the ocean.